Hello YouTube, Steve Trucker here. I want to uh, talk about today, it's basically a follow-up video to my Get a Grip Euro Garages video. I'm back at Warminster today. Been in a few times since, but I thought I'd do a fair judgement. You know, I, they recently got in touch with me about, not recently, but they got in touch just before Christmas, so I found out they tried to get in touch in January, which I do apologise. I, I think I did comment. You know, say, look, you know, I did get your message, thank you very much. It was all very positive, you know, that they would go pass on my recommendations to the area managers, which is fair enough. That's a good, good response off the company. Um, now, the update about Warminster as a whole. I mean, they've got toilet paper and regularly. There's no issues. I have improved on that front. I'll grant them that. So I don't know what communication between the staff is still like, so I can't comment on that one. But, no, I've had no other issues since then, really. I mean, the shower issue is still there. You know, I have checked today to see if they've put a hook or at least a chair or something in there. It doesn't seem to be that I've seen. So that's still, you know, could do with improving, but it's not the end of the world. At least it's a free shower, so... I know you argue that, but it would be nice just to have a hook or two that you can hang up your clothes so you're getting dirty or having to provide you know, plastic bags or something to put on the floor. The other way also I could do it is maybe put some clothes to the handle, but you know, <laughs> handle what everybody has to, you know, handle, you know. <laughs> I don't need to explain that, do I? You know. It's not, the, as I said, the biggest issue in the world, you know, as I said, nothing else really to report about the site, just that seems to me that they've upped keeping the toilets generally better than they were as well, so I can't overly complain now, you know, about the state, but it hits about average for the UK, you know, it, it still would have a long way to go to compete against my top list of services, I mean, to do that, I wouldn't expect any company to meet those standards because there were exceptions. And those are sites that obviously have staff and management. And some of them are brand new sites as well. That They've obviously had good management from the outset that you know has looked after a facility from day one to now. And obviously if they inherited... Because I know, I think your garages inherited this off the last company this site specifically so I'll, I can't hold them to the same standards I can to a degree but all fairness but it has been renovated so you could argue you could argue but to be in my top list of services has got to be special to meet really good side of servicing or not the same, not the same standards, but I do expect, you know, to have Tray 4 7 facilities like the toilets, not as a portaloo outside in, you know, that, that's one of the biggest issues with this site. Actually, see, had the pigeon guy letting some pigeons go. Um, I don't say it's a real bad thing having portaloos and having main toilets. I can sort of see why they do that, but on the other hand, it is a bit. Well, you're, you're charging people to park, or well, certainly heavy goods to park here, which is fair enough. It's a private site, you can do that. But you're paying, I forgot what it is, it's like 18 quid. And if you're past the opening hours of the main facility building, yes, you have a shop that's always open, I hope you admit, a garage. But, you don't have a toilet or wash facility or proper one that's open tray full 7. And your portal and if you want to go for a wash, else the hours, good luck, you know. <laughs> it's what it is at the end day. Eh? I'd say they have made improvements and it's a positive video. Criticisms are made there, just, you know, if they were to better themselves, is where they could better themselves. So they could look at a way, because those torts could be opened, in theory, from the the forecourt side. 
tray full seven and just have a secure shutter which I believe is there and the thing is you I think you, you must have in the holiday inn staff that are there tray four seven which they could semi keep an eye on that as well also as the garage staff you know you need to put a camera in there if needs be if you're worried about security and not in the toilet obviously or in the toilets but you know in the main walk-in area and just have it maybe one of the members of staff has to do a walk in there every once hour or so or something like that every two hours but you know I don't want service facilities I understand it costs money and as I said they have improved so that's all what I expected and you know would have been a miracle for anything else So I'm just out, so I get distracted here. Some random stuff can always happen this truck stop. Yeah, so almost up on my break. So I thought I'd do a quick video. I know it's a bit brief, it's a bit bland, but I thought I'll do a update video to my get, get a grip Yori Garages one. So I have improved. You know, is what it is. I could go on why there's issues and, you know, but. You know, it's always good there's competition in the market, which is good. You know, and there's pros and cons here. But a lot of it falls down with the state of services within the UK anyway. And this doesn't just involve your ego, it just involves all the big players like Moto and Welcome Break and so forth and Extra. You know, they all... Yeah, they have the old good site of each brand, but will have generally... Does generally have a good site. But there's get out the big brand, there is a lot of sites that as like this site need to get a grip. You know, could be a lot better than what they are, especially for what they charge. You know, what they charge does not meet what type of service or facilities you get. I mean I open it, your garages well, it's mainly cars, you're going to Greg's which tend to keep their prices to high street. So, you know, I can argue well if you're going to Greg's it's reasonably priced. In the shop it's okay, it's still cheaper I think than Welcome Break and Moto not as cheap as a high street but you know still cheaper than a big services yeah so thank you very much for watching hopefully you've enjoyed this, please like if you like please dislike if you like, if you want to comment down below you know have you noticed any improvements since my video output of of uh, Get A Grip Yori Garages at Yori Garages you know, personally, I think I have. You know, you know, as far as what I've seen, you probably find too as I drive in through the forecourt, they're all running, stocking the toilets and making it look as good as possible. <laughs> okay, oh, here's the trucky reviewers. <laughs> only kidding, only kidding. Yeah. So, nevertheless, it is what it is. You know, I does sound like I'm being nasty about your garages and mainstream services. But in some ways, they do deserve it. But Eurogosh have made improvement. I do acknowledge that, and I'll tip my hat at the end of the day. You know, they, they, I think they have got a grip in most regards. Not all, but most. I mean, the bins in the truck park look like they've been emptied today. You know, because I did go for a stint, and the bins weren't emptied for three or four days. I don't know why. Literally chocker to the point there's rubbish blowing around the whole truck park, but never mind. But I hope they've got a grip of that since as well. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Over and out.